All right, first thing we're gonna do, before we even power the device on, we're gonna crack it open and take a look. It looks like we need one, two, three, four, 12. 12 screws to remove. That'll do it. Then we lift, starting from the hinges, and work our way back, and that comes off really easily. So, here we have the hardware. Here we can see NVMe drive, another NVMe drive. This model has two 500 gig NVMe's. Uh, here we have our processor and heat sink with our fan. Uh, this is the extra 8 gigs that is added on to this board, giving it a total of 16. The display seems to be mounted here, as well as wireless over here, and obviously the 75 kilowatt hour battery. Not bad, honestly. Um, speaker, a speaker. What do we have? Power, HDMI, USB, USB 3, USB C, and then on this side, the power button, a micro SD, uh, head headphone, microphone combo, another USB port, and the Kensington lock. Overall, looks really repairable, so I'm pretty excited. Should anything go bad, I guess if my warranty is up, I can just buy the parts and replace them myself, which was a big selling point for me on this device. I recognize that it is a rebranded Clevo laptop, but it seems there's a bit more that goes into it than just buying Chinese laptops and then slapping a logo on it. Um, in my discussion with the support technician, or the support happiness engineer. It was, uh, they purchase from Clevo or they work with the manufacturer, order their parts and then do assembly in California for laptops. And then, uh, so all the custom parts like the NVMe drives, um, probably the upgraded RAM. And then I don't know if the keyboard and display are different from what you would get with a Clevo laptop but I would assume that's something that could be done if uh, they chose to go that route. So anyways, I'm gonna put this back together and then I'm gonna power it back on. Oh, wow, that is thin and looks good. It uh, doesn't seem to be leaving too much of a trace. My hands all over it, there's a bit of marks that you can kind of see here. Um, overall, not bad though. Don't know if I'll cover it with stickers just yet.